Hey guys, it's Julie Salant. I'm your intuitive healer for your life and business. And I wanted to give you just a very quick video tonight. Uh, this is a late night video. <laughs> it was not planned. Um, but um, I was actually with a client today, actually two clients. And we had a two hour long discussion. I was helping them actually bring through who they truly are. And one is a healer who considers herself not intuitive, but she is so intuitive. The other one is intuitive and a healer and a channeler, and she has so many gifts. And yet she feels like she can't really trust her gifts and doesn't really understand all of what she is. And this is something I've dealt with for a very long time in my life. Um, when you are a healer, or even if you're creative, if you have, everybody has gifts, right? But a lot of times when we're small, if the gifts are not something that can easily be recognized or not mainstream, um, then what happens is the gifts are um, pushed down. Um, family members can tell us that, you know, you need to stop being so dramatic and you need to cut it out and you need to just be normal, whatever normal is. And for so many of us that are gifted and have internal transformations for people like myself, my gift is being able to see your gifts and leverage them. My gift is to be able to see inside your heart and your soul and to move that and change it so that you can move onto your life path super simply. This is something that's an internal transformation first and then turns into an external transformation. If you are a great athlete, okay, that's something that's so much easier for parents and our friends and family to latch onto and say, okay, that's a gift that's easily recognized and is more mainstream and money will come from it and let's push the person in that direction and it's more accepted. If you are on the side of creative and your gifts are latent, you may be somebody who's a writer, who's a videographer, who can draw, somebody who's in the financial services area and can do really well with numbers, that may not show up in full form until later on. Because so many times we have lots of gifts that are activated later on in life for certain times and purposes for when they're needed. Right now with the way that the world is and the craziness that we all endure, it's so important that everyone that's awakening latches onto their gifts and doesn't push them to the side. This is my one of my missions because I pushed mine to the side for a very long time, more years than I will ever care to admit, unless I'm face to face with you and I know you. Um, and I don't want you to do that because let me tell you what happens when you do that. When you, when you push your gifts down, you will suffer. Okay. You'll suffer physically. I had migraines for years and years and years. When I say migraines, I mean, I couldn't get out of bed. I was sick. I lose a day of my life. I couldn't do anything. It's, it was awful and nobody could help me. And it was because of the pressure of pushing your gifts down and not accepting them. Because when you don't accept your gifts, you don't accept yourself and self-acceptance and self-worth is huge in terms of you being able to access who you are and the gifts that you have. So what happens is when you push your gifts aside because you want to people please others, if you want to go to school to be a doctor or you tell your parents tell you, hey, I want you to go to school to be this and I'll only pay for school if you're this, which is what happened to me. Uh, I was a big people pleaser. So I just said, okay. And I didn't follow my dreams. But the good news is it's never too late. So I'm begging you, I'm pleading with you, don't be a people pleaser, okay? If you have gifts and you're afraid to use them, I get it, I understand. Because finding out what your gifts are and using them and leveraging them is two completely different things. And if you need help with that, reach out to me. But don't do what I did and push them away because that's almost like pushing love away right? When somebody really cares for you and they're going to fight for you and they're going to come for you and say, you know what? Um, this is the way I feel. And I want to work this out with you. If somebody's going to make an effort, if you push them away, you're, you're actually hurting yourself. You're, you're rejecting them, but you're also rejecting yourself. It's the same with gifts. Your gifts are given to you by spirit. Okay. And they're there for you to help others, right? And they're also there to help yourself. 
And you're given these gifts because they're made especially for you, no one else. You can wield your gifts, no one else can, but you have free will, which also means that you can push them away. So here's the thing, this is what I said to my person today. I said, you have the choice. You can either use your gifts right now and latch onto them, or you can push them aside and keep on going with life. What do you wanna do? And she was like, um, I don't know. And I was like, don't do what I did. Don't push these things away from you because you're gonna hurt yourself. And her chest started to hurt and she's been having, you know, heart palpitations. It's all because you're, you're trying to bottle up something that wants to come out. Your gifts are there for a reason to help you and to help other people. And a lot of things I do are messages for other people. And those messages mean the world to them. And I don't even know a lot of times what they mean, right? I mean, I just get messages from spirit. This is what happens to me. When I channel, I go outside, I sit in front of a fire, I do some stuff and I get ready and then I listen and I pray. And then God, spirit, the archangels, I go to other realms. I know it sounds a little funny to a lot of you, but this is what happens. And then I ask questions for my clients and, and I get messages. I close my eyes and I start writing and I get messages and I talk to animals that have passed on. I talk to people that have passed on. These are gifts. They're worth their weight in gold in platinum, there is, they're irreplaceable. And I feel bad that I pushed them away for so long. So it's part of my mission to get you guys to really wake up and say, stop, please, I'm begging you. Accept your gifts, accept yourself, get your self-worth, stand in your power and say, I got this. These are my gifts. And if you don't like it and you don't understand it, that's cool. You're not my person, it's okay. But for the person that needs me and I can give them something in, important, which I did the other day for somebody that I was talking to, it was just on a co coaching call with a colleague. And I was like, I got something for you. Can I just give this to you? And he's like, yeah, sure. And he's like, I've heard that before. And I'm like, it's time, it's time to step up. A lot of healers, a lot of people who have gifts are afraid to be who they are, to stand in their power and say, this is what I do. And the reason is because so many of us, myself included, have been pushed around and pulled down and said, you know what? You're not valuable. The last job I was at was in a huge insurance company. I, was a, I worked for a senior vice president. I had my own office on the top freaking floor, okay? She was senior VP, anything goes, I got let go because I didn't drive with her after a time. She does this, she turns on people. It doesn't matter. What, what matters is the story that what I was told was this, your uniqueness is not valued here. What would you think if somebody said that to you? Your uniqueness is not valued here. Meaning your thoughts, your actions, and everything that you are, we don't, we don't give a shit because we like the box and I'm round. I read books backwards, not forwards. I see things way differently than other people do, but that's, that's what I'm good at. That's my genius. And everybody has something in them that's just as genius. So I took it. And this is what I do. This is my superpower. I use this as fuel, rocket fuel, rocket fucking fuel. Okay. In other words, I'm not going to cry in the corner and be sad. If you let go of me, you're not seeing my value because I've got a lot of fucking value and I know my value and I stand in my power and it's okay. I will make my own way. I will make my own money. I don't need this. I don't need this top floor stuff. I don't need like fancy stuff. I like nice things, but I don't need it. What I need is my heart and my soul and my gifts and my connection to you. That's what I need. That's priceless shit. Just saying. I'm being real tonight because it's late and I'm tired, <laughs> but I had to get this out there. It's so important for you guys to get this. Just please, 
whatever gifts you have, whether they're with animals, whether they're in financial, whether they're writing, whatever they are, acting, I don't care what they are, just allow them to come through and blossom for you and accept them and accept yourself and then start working with them and then start understanding them and then leverage them to your best ability because that's when the good stuff happens. Don't do what I did. Put, push them down, pretend they're not there because by the way, they'll just keep growing and growing and getting stronger and stronger until they overtake you and it will be kind of a shit show. Don't do that. I know fear very well. I know the landscape of fear very, very well. And if I can save you the suffering that I went through by trying to be someone else, which is never going to work because there's only one you and you've got to be you to be happy, right? Just be yourself, accept your gifts, all of who you are, and stand in your power. If you need my help finding your gifts, leveraging your gifts, understanding your gifts, working with your gifts, and following your life path, let me know. Email me. You got all my information. Otherwise, move forward with confidence and know that you are valuable and I believe in you. Even if you don't believe in yourself, I believe in you. Even if you can't find your way right now, I still believe in you. Because if I can find my way, you can find your way. All right, guys, take care.